When a rock band travels to South by Southwest, they look to go there and further their careers, maybe get a record contract, fans, maybe an STD. But one thing they do not plan on is getting a debilitating injury. Here I have a story about a band breaking laces, 2011, South by Southwest. How does a rock drummer really break both wrists? I traveled to West Orange, New Jersey, an exotic locale, 1,730.4 miles away from Austin, Texas, to find out what really happened on that Friday night. Come with me in this Dateline special event where we untie the laces. Uh, Seth, thank you very much for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh, let's just get right into it. Tell me what happened, your side of this story. Okay. So we were down in Texas for South by Southwest, and we played a number of gigs. And we had a Friday where we were just meeting with our agents and radio people of various parties. And I had about 20 minutes to kill. So I went into a bar, sort of uh, this place that this girl told me was really cool and a little different. I had a Texas treat to drink, and it mellowed me out a bit. Out of nowhere, uh, Walk Like an Egyptian came on the radio, and I thought it was really funny. And I just kind of got up and started, you know, walking like an Egyptian. And I didn't mean any harm, and out of nowhere, I was tapped on the shoulder. And this guy from Kajagugu, or flock of seagulls was like really pissed off and another guy came up and they said hey man don't disrespect the bangles i'm like what are you talking about he's like i saw what you're doing he's like you better stop and i'm like all right whatever so then i finished uh, off my drink and i left and about 30 seconds outside of the bar i was tripped and then i just see like this guy who looked like adam Ant from this 80s cover band just like start pummeling me in the face and I was attacked ferociously kind of dazed and I see this like Ibanez seven string or guitar or something coming at my arms and dudes just started pummeling my wrists and broke them to they were just they looked like big marshmallow puffs and I passed out these allegations you're making they're heavy stuff I mean, they sit there and they think that we're going to believe that Bin Laden is still alive, that, that the war in Libya is necessary, that the dollar is safe, and, and Seth's got two broken wrists out of nowhere, right? I mean, come on, what do they really expect out of us? Libya? Really? I mean, when you look at the facts, I mean, the real, cold, hard facts, there's only three ways this could have happened. Either Bush did it, Al-Qaeda is running south by southwest, or Seth just fell. Now, we all know Seth didn't just fall. It's hard to believe what is real or real. So we have Seth saying that he got beat up by an 80s cover band. And then Rob is talking about some sort of conspiracy theory. I don't know, why don't you explain to us what really happened? It started out with the three of us walking down the street of Austin and Seth, out of nowhere, pretty much out of nowhere, says, you guys know I'm the fastest guy in the band. And Rob, as a, as a former track star, or pretty, as a guy who used to run track, turned around and said, uh, no, you're not. <laughs> and next thing I know, um, the two of them want to have a running race. And when I look back, the two of them are in a running stance, and you know they're limbering up and getting ready to go. And then, then they're off. Within five seconds of leaving the, the starting line, Seth was on the ground, and he completely wiped himself. It's hard to explain. It was, it was kind of like watching an, an avalanche. Uh, if you can imagine an octopus falling out of a tree, that's what it looked like. I mean, he took two steps, and then he was, he was down. And in falling to the ground, he, he braced himself with his hands, and the, then the next morning, uh, he showed me his wrists, and they were, they were puffy. You know, there's a lot of speculation from our fan base right now as to what really happened. You know, everyone wants a good story. They want, they want to make it interesting. And the fact is, it's not good enough to say I got beat up. People are saying things like, you know, 
it was government conspiracies and people are putting out these blatant lies like we were running in the middle of 6th Street on Texas, in Texas. And it just hurts. It hurts that uh, people have to make this into a big deal and a story. I mean, it's not like it really affected the band.